Man, you know, we're getting we're getting pretty close to episode fifty. Um, episode, you know, forty nine is a pretty high number to to have done this podcast uh, forty nine times and not fifty yet uh, is really uh, it's been a it's been a long ride here here on Detour Ahead. Um, of course, uh, here we are on the Tuesday. Here we are exactly eight days before this episode gets posted on Tuesday um, recording. Uh, there's a there's a hurricane on its way. It's it's coming for me right now is what's going on, you know, because it's Tuesday and I'm going to get hit by a hurricane tomorrow on Wednesday. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's on its way. Uh, it could be big. I don't know. I could be dead uh, by the next time you hear the show. Maybe it'll be... It'll be Kolochu and Penguin Mage breaking the news that I have uh, passed away from this hurricane, you know? And I've always wondered, you know, hurricanes hit Florida, like, every year, right? All the time. Just, like, so much rain and shit. Like, people are dying in floods. Why don't we just... Why don't we recycle a little bit of that? Why don't we just take some fucking water bottles and just line them up on the street? And then when it rains in a hurricane... It'll just it'll just fill the water bottles and then you sell them and then you you pass the savings on to the consumer. It's <laughs> I don't know I don't see any flaws with that. Why don't we just collect hurricane water? Because <laughs> of course if you if you put water bottles and you stood them up in a hurricane, nothing would knock them down. That'd be ridiculous. Not the high winds. No. No, no the high winds. No. Wind doesn't exist. Wind is made by the government. Or you know, there's you can solve that. You can t- you get like a steel cube that's not going to blow in the wind. Ah, no, 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 no. What you do? There. What you do is you nail them down. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> Oh well, yeah! What you do is you nail the water, the empty, empty water bottles down yep, with the caps off, so you can profit and sell hurricane water. Yes, that's right. That'd be so oh, true. You could do like you do a super if like hurricane was actually like really really devastating, like Katrina, and then you're just like you have all these water bottles of hurricane water, and you're just like. Does anybody want hurricane water? <laughs> no, no, you, you gotta do it with like extreme marketing. Like uh, like there's gotta be like skateboarders and BMX riders, and it's like hurricane water collected from real hurricanes. The most extreme <laughs> water. <laughs> Fucking hurricane water. <laughs> <laughs> Drink from the water that killed thousands. <laughs> you will absorb their power. <laughs> Welcome to Detour Head. I'm Riley. Here's Alex. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're here to collect some rainwater. <laughs> no, no, are we doing water bottles or are we selling gallons of. Can we sell gallons? We can sell gas. That, that's true. We the, we gotta package it in different ways. We can sell we can sell uh, bottles. We can sell gallons. Uh, we should sell cans because all, all the cool extreme drinks come in cans. We should get, set some cans up too uh, to collect water. And but it's because of course you couldn't just transfer it from a bottle to a can. That'd be ridiculous. So <laughs> put some cans out. <laughs> uh, some canned hurricane water. Can you can water? I, I don't see why you couldn't, but I've never seen anybody do it, so I wonder if there's a reason why they don't, you know? Like, it seems like there'd be at least one company just, like, putting canned water on the shelves if there wasn't any problems with canning water. You know what I mean? <laughs> she gets it. She gets it. She knows. Oh, definitely. So, Alex, how you, how you doing this week? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Work kind of sucks. Up. Working... Working a bunch, looking for a new apartment and shit like that. Yeah. Not really looking, but I should be. Yeah, <laughs> get on that, buddy. Pal. How oh, much longer you got in the current abode? Huh? Oh, in the... um, I have two months. Oh, it's creeping up. I have to, I have to get out of here in by October 31st. You better... 
you better get get going, my brother. Yeah, they fucking get some apartments and shit, dog. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Let me let me tell you something, my brother. You gotta go. You gotta go, and you gotta show. <laughs> I don't know why. What is this voice that I'm doing? I don't know what voice you're. You're stuck. <laughs> you're you're still stuck in on uh, hurricane water. <laughs> Extreme. <laughs> God damn it. Now, are we doing plastic bottles or are we going to put out like canisters and stuff like that? What do you mean by a canister? Like the like Yetis and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pre-packaged with the water in it? Yeah. Okay, that that's an idea. That's an idea. That's I, I think we could corner the market on that. That's a that's an open market, I think. I do believe that's an open market. <laughs> we could be trailblazers. Uh, Sorry, anything I'm, else? I'm still I'm still stuck on fucking hurricane water. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can't you can't focus back into doing a show after hurricane water. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else notable this week? Um, let me go to my notes real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, you have those now. <laughs> I do have notes now. I do take notes throughout. Throughout each day, well, not throughout each day, but if something pops up, then I'm like, oh, I could talk about that on the podcast. So I put it on, I put it in my notes. Um, so Charmander Community Day for Pokemon Go's today. Oh shit! Didn't you say? Wait, did you say it was a Tuesday? It, it's today. Fuck you. Fuck continuity. I don't care. It's, it's today. Not, it's not actually. <laughs> well, it is Tuesday, but um, so. Uh, Charmander Community Day is on Saturday, which is the day that we used to do the show, and the day that we would do the show if anything had prevented us from doing the show on Tuesday, which it didn't, because today is Tuesday. Alright, alright, alright. F- fuck this. Charmander <laughs> Community Day is today. Is, is on Saturday. It's today. <laughs> Come on. Is Saturday. Well, I don't know what day it is. It, that is today. It, if it were a different day than Tuesday, anyway, we had to record. Charmander ahead, Community Day is coming up soon. Uh, I got back into Pokemon Go, so my friend Rach and I are gonna go to the mall. We're gonna walk around and shit. We're gonna go catch some little lizards, and it's gonna be a good time. And we're also going to look for go be white women and look for shoes. For this wedding I have coming up on Sunday. Uh, I like your shoes. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put that shit down. I, I can't speak for that. If, some, if someone came up and said, I like your shoes, I'd probably go off and be like, oh my god, I found them at Target. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd be like, ah, I know what you're doing. <laughs> no, no, no. It would hit me after they walk away. Where I'd be like, oh, 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 they, got, they got me, they got me. It's all right. You win this one. Um, nah, I, apparently I can't wear black shoes with a blue dress, so I have to go buy new shoes. Tragic. Very tragic. It sucks. Um, other than that, not really, not much else. I got dragged to, uh... A white woman event with Rach and her mom. It's called Paint and Sip, where you go drink wine and you paint shit. Yeah. Um. I'll post it to Twitter. I meant to. I meant to post it to Twitter, but I'll send it to you now. Where do you want it? Detour ahead or? Ah, uh, yeah, Detour ahead podcast. Yeah. So this is this is what I painted. It's basically just a wine bottle with the Cola Chew logo on it. Nothing like super fancy. I kept meaning to uh, post it to Twitter. Oh, that's awesome. But uh, yeah, yeah, I did that. That was done by my own hand. If I remember, ten weeks from now, I'll put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> No, I, I I think we're gonna have to do hurricane water. <laughs> well, no, the thumbnail is gonna be about the topic, which is anyway. not hurricane water. As much as you know, <laughs> I'm sure we could do a full hour on hurricane water, but that's not what we're here to do. 
<laughs> anyway, so I did that, and that was pretty fun, I guess. It wasn't, like, too terrible. I got sloshed pretty quickly, though. <laughs> but yeah, that, that pretty much wraps up everything that I've been doing. Um, I didn't really have many notes on anything. What have you been doing, Riley? Oh, thanks, Alex, for asking me that question. Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, not much. Uh, preparing for the impending hurricane, of course. Um, I... <laughs> I, uh, quote-unquote, grocery shop for the hurricane. So what happened was... Um, so here's, here's the scenario. Uh, so the hurricane is coming. Of course, hasn't already come. Uh, it's it's it is coming, um, and my mother had to stay in Tarpon Springs because of some like weird thing her work d- is doing. Um, so I'm not going to see her for a while, and there's not a lot of food in the house, and obviously Walmart's grocery delivery is not active uh, with the impending hurricane. Um, or not obviously, because not every delivery delivery service was inactive yet, uh, but Walmart grocery service was. Uh, and the only thing I could do was order from Wawa. Um, and Wawa has, like, nothing at all for, like, real groceries. Basically, just what I bought was, like, I just bought, like, a bunch of snacks with the understanding that it would be better than not eating. I just bought, like, some bananas couple of really big Slim Jims, some peanuts that had some sort of, like, buy two, get one free sale, um, and just, like, that was my hurricane groceries. <laughs> it's the best I could get, and, and, like, a bunch of Diet Pepsi and water. Uh, so, there you go, that was my grocery shopping for the hurricane. And then it, and then I got some, uh, I went to work, and... Um, they have a food pantry at work and I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of beans in, in, in preparation for if my powers out for a long time. I will, I will live the cold bean lifestyle. I'm ready for it. I will consume the cold beans. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop the raw power that I will wield, uh, when I eat the cold beans, uh, if the power goes out. Uh, so, uh, but somehow... Somehow I have this strange feeling, I feel in my heart, that my power won't go out, I will not be forced to eat the cold beans. I don't know what gives me that feeling. It's not as if I've already lived this scenario or anything. Um, but I just feel like that's not going to happen. But if it were to happen, ready for the cold beans. Uh, but yeah, other than the storm, uh, nothing really, just working. Probably not going to work on storm day, obviously. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have a strong, strong feeling that I'm not going to work on Storm Day. Uh, and, you know, but I'm sure it'll pass. I have a, I have a strong, strong feeling that it'll pass and basically not hit us at all. Um, not only based on uh, premonitions that I don't have, uh, but based on the fact that Every other time, there's been, like, hype behind, oh, big hurricane's gonna hit us, and it's gonna be right where I am, and it's gonna get us real bad. Never happens. The The storm always, like, turns to a point where it doesn't matter at all. Um, I think it rained really hard during Irma, but, like, there was no damage, and, like, I slept through the whole thing. Um, what was the other one? Hurricane Ian was the other one? Dude, I don't remember hurricane names. Yeah, yeah, Hurricane Ian was the I think the most recent one before, uh, the most recent one that hit Florida before this one, the most recent big one. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, but that one like fucked up our neighbor's roof, but didn't do anything to us, and I don't even remember it being that bad. Um, I think I recorded a podcast during it, I believe. Um, and then there was this one. Or there is this one on its way currently, of course. Um, and I just have a strong feeling that it's not going to do shit. <laughs> I can't keep up with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, just, I, I have this strange amount of confidence in what will happen in the future. All right. Speaking of water bottles. All right. Okay. Before, we, before we get to our topic, 
at hand before we get to the topic at hand today. Do you want sure. you want to know some uh, jokes about water bottles? <laughs> <laughs> That seems like a strangely specific thing. I'm so stuck on fucking water bottles. <laughs> so I went online and I'm like, I bet there's some water bottle jokes I can tell. Uh, All right. Oh, that's what Review. happened. Okay, okay. Um, if you want to look some up yourself, um, while I'm reading these out, uh, feel free. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, an empty water bottle walks into the bar. And the bartender says, go home, you're drunk. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, um, I have like two... Good. I, I found two more that I thought were funny. If you work okay. in a water bottle factory, it must be difficult to not drink on the job. I mean... <laughs> that's, that's true, that's true right there. Makes you think. Look, these are really funny to me. Fuck you. <laughs> What's the last Definitely one? Definitely not forced in at all. What's the last one? What's the last one? Why was the water bottle always in trouble? Why? Because it couldn't stay sealed and keep and kept spilling its secrets. Oh, see, see, Demi. That one wasn't that good. No, it wasn't. I don't care. Dem- oh, man. Demi Gloom Demi Gloom posted hurricane water. She made a she she mocked up some concept art for canned well, hurricane water. Look, I, I did the same thing but slightly faster <laughs> and not as good. I'll do no the thumbnail for this episode will be all of these but just like floating in space. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Just throw them away. I don't <laughs> look. I have the space. Look, look. I have I have the PNG of Hurricane Water. Hurricane so... Water. Hurricane Water. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something WWE. All right, let's get rid of these water bottle jokes and clean this shit up for next week. So, um, Alex, what are we talking about today? I don't know. What are we talking about today, Riley? Oh, uh, you're just going to deflect it right back at me, huh? Uh, well, uh, today, we're talking about space. It's, uh, you know, when you go off of Earth, and it's what else is out there. It's space, you know? That's what space is. Alex, how do you feel about space? Space is all right. I don't really care. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Overrated as fuck, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? It's just I elaborate. It's it's okay. I don't know. I don't really care for space. I don't really want to go to space. Um, you don't want to go to space. You fucking nah. boring. Who? What? What self-respecting space person doesn't want to go to space? What am I gonna do in space that I can't do here? See space in real. What do you mean, what are you going to do in space? You do space in space. It's cool to be in space. Why? Why is it cool to be in space? Because it's beautiful and it's different and you get to feel zero gravity and you get to fucking experience what it's like to be in space. I mean, I can just see space from here, though. That's that's <laughs> the other thing. You out of a Google image search <laughs> for space. <laughs> I can just look at cool <laughs> pictures from space. Like, I'll never see pictures like this in space. But you'll see it in front of your eyes. It's right here, though. But it's... it's in the, the comfort picture. of my own home, where aliens aren't going to... aren't going to buttfuck me listen, and take I see, me away. Listen, it's different. You Listen, you see a puppy on Google Images, you're like, oh. But if you see a puppy in real life, you're like, oh! Like, it's different, okay? It's fucking a different experience. Is it? Yes! Is it? Is it? Are you sure about that? Yeah, 100% yes. Debbie Gloom has posted a screenshot of Forced Gay by Aliens I mean, like, by Hunter like, Fox. Like, look at look, 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 look how cute <laughs> These are pretty cute puppies. Just, just, just <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I just proved you wrong. You look and you're like, oh my god, look at these little guys. But if these puppies were in the room with me right now, I'd be like, oh my god! Oh my god. (laughs) Alien tentacles forced me gay by Hunter Fox. Uh, Abducted by gay aliens by Catherine DeVore. Um, Why why does... 
Are these real books that you're posting, Demi Gloob? What what is this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, folks, there's you're a bunch looking- of gay <laughs> alien books by this one guy, Hunter Fox. He just keeps <laughs> writing books about being forced gay by aliens. It's great. Everybody go buy Hunter Fox's Forced Gay by Aliens series on Amazon.com. Be- better than What's Your Problem by Johan Birch. Just saying. <laughs> you know, not a hard thing to do. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but, anyway, anyway, why convince me? Why why should I, Alex, go to space? Because, like, it, given the opportunity, would you go to space? A hundred percent. Why? Because space is like a whole. It's the it's the next frontier, or whatever they say about it. Like, I get it's a whole new world. I want to see it. I want to see the beauty. I want to feel being in space i want to be in a zero gravity i want to i want to look do upon zero gravity down here i want to look upon the stars it, it, and i want to look upon the, the the floating space stuff and maybe go to the moon that'd be pretty sick you don't want to go to the moon alex the fuck is on the there's nothing on the moon it's the the, the moon is on the moon seeing the moon is the cool part about the moon no i'm <laughs> No! <laughs> you don't want to go to the moon? Bro, space is overrated as fuck, alright? <laughs> I'm off space. Why? I'm done with space. What's so bad about space? Why don't you Aliens, like space? asteroids, no air. Done. <laughs> Death. They, but they do things to avoid garbage. those things. Do you know how much garbage is in space? Probably a lot of garbage in space, honestly. If I think about it critically, there probably is a ton of garbage in space. All right, so just by Googling how much garbage is in space, right? Okay. Uh, the top result from the Natural History Museum.uk, from N- nhm.ac.uk, all right? Well, there, there's 2,000 active satellites around the Earth. There are also 3,000 dead ones just littering space for no reason. And there are also 34,000 pieces of space junk, bigger than 10 centimeters in size, and millions of smaller pieces. Yeah, it's pretty dirty out there in space, I guess. I can't believe you're so down on space. Like, people don't realize how how many fucking things are out in space, because they... You never see. You don't see the satellites. Yeah, I guess you don't, but, like, it's still cool to be out there. Like, it's cool to be in, like, you could probably find some trash in, like, Paris. But, like, it's still cool to be in Paris. <laughs> like, I don't yeah, think... but not orbiting everywhere around Paris. <laughs> That's true, there's not floating satellites all over Paris. <laughs> like, if I go to images and how much garbage is in space, right? Yeah. It's Wikipedia? Oh, it's YouTube video. I don't want YouTube video. Here. here, here's, here's a... So, basically, the entire Earth is basically covered in a decent layer of just space garbage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hypothetical. We created our own little protective cubby of space garbage. Well, yeah, if any, any, any aliens want to come and come down and, according to Hunter Fox, do gay things with us. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> if Hunter Fox's research is to be believed. <laughs> is this dude real, Hunter Fox? Hold on, let me do some a little bit of research here. Oh, he's got a Twitter. Oh, he's got a Twitter. Is this the actual Hunter Fox? Yeah, I don't know. There's probably a million Hunter Foxes. No, this is a football player. I don't probably mind. had to Google Hunter Fox gay aliens to really narrow it down. Oh, that's oh, that makes a lot of sense. Hunter Fox is a graduate student from UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television. Got it. That makes sense. <laughs> Why does that make sense? <laughs> what, what are you playing? A billionaire dinosaur forced me gay. (laughs) (laughs) 
Is this the only kind of book he writes? Just like blank makes me gay. Part two. There's a part two. Gay centaur punished my butt. Homoerotic by Hunter Fox. <laughs> Uh, turned gay by an orc, gay lord of the orcs. Gay lord of the orcs. Bigfoot side piece. <laughs> wow, not even his main chick. You're the side piece. I love the gay. Oh, there's another one about gay billion dinos billionaire dinosaurs. It's called gay billion dinos gay billionaire dinosaurs in my butt. This why dude. Are they, why are they a billionaire? <laughs> a griffin tore me up. Even the, it's not even the gay, a unicorn. It's not even the gay part I'm questioning about that. Like, how did the dinosaurs become billionaires? That's what I want to read the book to find out. I'm how did the gay you. dinosaurs become billionaires? I don't know. That's what I'm intrigued about. <laughs> <laughs> What sort of lucrative product were they producing? The gay dinosaurs. I must know. I, I want to bring this. I want to talk to this guy. I want. Can I have. I have yeah, a new... get him on the show. Uh, but, get him on the uh, show. Uh, but Alex, uh, do you think aliens are real? Uh no. No. Not, yes. 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 Uh, okay. I, was, okay. I wasn't thinking. I I didn't realize what you asked, and it didn't process in my brain. All right, I have locked down Hunter Fox's email. I'm gonna send him an email. Yeah, we're, gonna get, we're, gonna, we're gonna get we're gonna get him on the show, and it's gonna be a serious thing. Like I, I actually want to know why this dude chooses to write these kind of books. How did the dinosaurs become a billionaires? Whole bunch. We're just asking questions. <laughs> I just want to know how the dinosaurs became billionaires. <laughs> why are the dinosaurs gay? How did they become billionaires? The, 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 the... I don't even care that they're gay. I just want to know how the dinosaurs became billionaires. <laughs> that is the more pressing concern, I think. There's three different books about how they're about how they're billionaires. I want to know. I'm I'm going to do a little work on the side. And I'll see I'll Like see I'm not questioning do. how they make you gay. Like they're billionaires. It's probably not hard. Um, but how did they become billionaires? That's what, exactly. Anyway, anyway, space. Yes. Space. Aliens. Uh, aliens are 100% real. Um, 99% sure that they're 100% real. Um, <laughs> 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 nah, man, look. Like, why, why are we the only ones? Yeah, I think that's well. That's like the philosophical way to approach it. Um, I think there's no. Also... Like, it doesn't make sense that like it makes zero sense that we would be legitimately the only ones who can go and live their lives with some kind of sentience. Like, I can choose to do this podcast, or I can choose to not do this podcast. Or maybe you can't. Maybe free will is a myth, and it's all just. Uh... Chemical reactions, uh, you know, man. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like it's a mix of both, though. That's the other thing. Is like <laughs> that's fair. You you do have free will to do whatever you want because if you look at like animals and stuff, they they're just going through the motions. Like according to science, they do what they do to survive. A dog doesn't decide. Oh, I want to go for a walk right now, or I'm gonna go do this, or I'm gonna go do that. It's more so just instinct. We run off instinct and free will. I think it's a combination of both. That's fair. Fair enough. I think we're all just puppets, and the puppet master is... I don't know. The flying spaghetti monster. Pastafarianism was real the whole time. Fucking pasta... I'm surprised we haven't talked about pastafarianism on here. Pastafarianism is so fucking funny. <laughs> I legitimately want to take a driver's license photo with a colander on my head. It's so funny that they're letting people get away with that sometimes, and I almost want to be one of them. Like, it's my religion, man. The flying spaghetti monster. I have to put a colander on my head <laughs> in my driver's license photo. This is very important to me as a worshiper and follower of the flying spaghetti monster. I'm pretty sure Pasifarianism is, like, epic and based. Like I think they've they've made their positions clear, like on like on all the all the all the all the pertinent issues such as uh, gay rights that uh, your your usual churches may have an issue with. 
I believe I believe Pastafarianism is pro gay. So the the most based religion I would say. I think everybody should be Pastafarian and worship the flying spaghetti monster. So I went to their website, spaghettimonster.org. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is based as fuck. I love that. Hell yeah. So they have a little thing called a little section called hate mail. You want me to read the the first one? Yes, let's 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 hear what they have up. to say. All right, it's the person who wrote this email is just named Puritan, all right? Sure. Now, this is accessible by everybody. This was posted August 13th or uh when was the thing? Uh this was like responding to hate mail. So, I don't know when this email was sent, but anyway, they f- they feature it on their on their website under hate mail at spaghettimonster.org. Hello there. My name is Jeremy and I am a Calvinist Bapti- Baptist Christian. I feel very upset and as I see and hear foolish people like you who dare bl- to blasphemy God who is the creator of all things, including lost fools like you. Yes, I mean foolish cl- creatures like you whom God of this age who is who is say blah 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 dude this is like this dude goes nah, off fucking get to the point bro <laughs> you folks are very unaware that Jesus Christ hates all perverts like Jesus Christ Jesus Christ hates all perverts like you not just for your rebellion against him but for your blasphemy and shameless deed this dude's going off yeah, this dude's got some feelings, some thoughts and feelings concerning. Oh, here we go. I'm I'm skipping I'm skipping around, but when you die, you will not go to your Satan invented pasta heaven where your beer volcano with your <laughs> Satan beer volcano and pasta Can that be the name of my metal band? Satan invented pasta heaven. <laughs> That's really funny. Satan invented pasta heaven that's that's great um this dude just went off but dude i i've never actually like went and looked into it i just knew that it was a funny religion it is a pretty funny religion I, i'm gonna get into it for real i'm gonna get a license photo with a fucking colander on my head i swear to god it's gonna happen it'll be a glorious day if you do if you get your license plate or if you get your actual driver's license or a state license with a colander on your head, I will fund your entire trip up here. <laughs> Bro, I- I'll go take a new, new driver's license photo fucking tomorrow. They'll, they'll let me do it. I'll 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 I'll, t- I'll talk them into it. But you know, yeah, I feel like for the same reason as you, uh, to get back to to kind of get out of the detours for a second. Um, I definitely believe aliens have to be real. Um, but like even beyond just that primal desire, it seems like literally impossible for there not to be. I, I think it's already proven that like alien by the most like basic of definitions do exist. Like I think we found small microbial found, life in space. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. We found like little microorganisms. Which that was uh, that, that, that was not the case Mars. for a long time. Like, like that was only like within the last decade that we discovered that, right? I think so, yeah. So for a long time, it was like it was questioned if there was any life in well, space I mean, at all. Dinosaurs um, didn't weren't invented until like <laughs> like the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> they weren't invented, <laughs> dude. George Washington didn't even know about dinosaurs, let alone how they became the billionaires. <laughs> yeah. He knew about dinosaurs before Hunter Fox. <laughs> But no, he was the first Washington, to know. He broke the did news. Know, did, he did not know that dinosaurs existed because they weren't invented until the 1800s. They weren't invented until billionaire dinosaurs, gay dinosaurs, turned me gay book. That, 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 <laughs> that by Hunter Fox. <laughs> well, we got to give him credit by Hunter, uh, by Hunter Fox. It's like, what's your problem by Johan Birch? Yes. Johan Birch, my favorite author. Johan Birch. Love that guy. But are there are are there gay billionaire dinosaurs in space? That's the real question we have to answer today. Um, I wonder. I wonder if we're ever gonna meet an alien, because like they are real. But like you think we'll, we'll see them? You think we'll see an alien in our lifetime? An alien? An alien? An alien? 
I don't think so. No. You really don't. You th- you think it's going to be beyond our lifetimes uh, when humanity lays eye upon an alien? I think so. That's fair. Have we put anybody on Mars yet? Did that happen? No. The heck, man. Put somebody on Mars already. Fucking hurry it up. Chop, chop. Come on, Elon. Get on it. Launch yourself into Mars, you dumb middle-aged fuck. <laughs> no, no turning back. No return trip. Change the name of the website back before you go. It's so funny that Elon Musk is just like so old and does not want that to be true. And is very... <laughs> He's such a fucking... He is a boomer. It's very, very sad. He's a boomer and like he he's running the web. He has to be doing it bad on purpose. I feel like he has to be doing it bad on purpose. There's no way. Like he completely abandoned the brand recognition. Uh he's changing features that have no business being changed and paywalling features that have no business being paywalled. Um he there, apparently, I've read, like, news articles about how he'll pitch something and, like, nobody else on the board or of the investors will like it. And he'll just be like, yeah, do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe Twitter's gone, dude. can't believe. I know. Twitter can't believe. is dead. They, the, Twitter, Twitter as a brand is an inactive brand. It's not real anymore. It's X now. What a fucking world. What a fucking world. What is uh what does SpaceX even do? What have they done space wise? Have they done anything cool? Have they have, have they gone any voyages or made any discoveries that are of note? SpaceX? Yeah. They're protecting us from all from all the gay aliens in space. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. I I trust Elon to do that. No, no, it's... no, that's not Elon. Elon doesn't run... Oh, I'm... Oh, no, no, no. SpaceX. I don't know what SpaceX has done. I know uh, the good men and women out on the Space Force. Oh, yeah, okay, yes, Space Force yes. is protecting us <laughs> Donald from Trump's otherworldly Space threats. <laughs> otherworldly <laughs> threats. There you go. Now it's on hey, Twitter. Yeah. Wait, what did you put on Twitter? A painting that I made. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, the yeah it's, on, the... it's on Twitter now. Let's go. Anyway, um, because I meant to do that the other day. Anyway, um, I don't. What is space? Why are you cutting out? Has SpaceX done anything? <laughs> yep, good Google, I think. Uh, recover spacecraft. Send space. It sends up to the ISS. What is SpaceX doing that NASA hasn't already done? Here we go. Being run by a cool guy named Elon Musk who smokes weed with Joe Rogan. (laughs) Who dressed up as Wario on Saturday Night Live. (laughs) Uh, SpaceX had the first controlled descent landing on Earth. That's something NASA has never attempted. So they sent something up into space and then they brought it back intact. Wait, uh, that's never been done before by NASA or anyone else? No, NASA's just like, yeah, just send it into the ocean, we'll get it later. Like, th- to, 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 to dumb it down? We've had people come back from space missions before. Yes, but this is a intact rocket sent up into space, then brought back down to Earth intact. And that's never happened before. No, because NASA sends them to go to space and then to come back. How they come back is up to is up to the world is up to nature. Oh, like there's a shit ton of space debris in the ocean because that's the safest place to, for them to land. They've never done a controlled descent. They just land rocket ships in the ocean. Yes, that's real. Yes, you didn't know that. That's oh, how no. rockets come back. Is they aim for the ocean. I didn't know the fucking moon landing came back and it's like, okay, we just got back from the moon. It's time to, to crash into the ocean real quick. But yeah, that's what they do. 
Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Good job, SpaceX. You landed a rocket ship. Something I thought that they've been doing forever, but I guess not. The funniest thing to ever happen in the world is the fact that Elon Musk, not because not because of anything within the episode itself, none of it was actually funny, except for the fact that Elon Musk was in a Wario costume, and now you now you can easily find a, there's a very easily Googleable image of Elon Musk dressed as Wario. That is the funniest thing to ever occur in the history of the planet. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh my god, at? you're not wrong. Oh, you're looking at the picture. <laughs> you're not wrong. Who the fuck? Why is Saturday Night Live still on? Who the fuck? I've, I've, I've yet to meet someone in my, in my travels, in my many travels, who, has, who enjoys Saturday Night Live in any way. Who is watching Saturday Night Live? Boomers. That it's still a show that exists. Boomers. But like, I've never heard a boomer talk about it either. I've never heard a human being discuss Saturday Night Live in my entire life. Except to shit on it. It's the only time I've heard it discussed. I just don't get it. <laughs> Not nah, boomers talk about it all the time. That's a boomer thing. Do you deal with boomers talking about Saturday Night Live? Uh, no. My dad talks about it sometimes. Who hosts, sure. who, who hosts that show? Huh? Who hosts that show? Uh, what do you mean, who hosts the show? It's a different host every time. Oh, is it? Okay. I knew sometimes other people hosted it, but I didn't know if there was like a... If it's not somebody else, it's this guy, guy. I don't know, I don't watch that in my life. I used to be really big into into it, but... Really? Yeah. You went through a Saturday Night Live phase? Yeah, I went through a Saturday Night Live phase. What you what did you get out of it? Uh just funny it little was sketches. Funny? Yeah, it was some funny of it to is. you? I guess like maybe it used to be better. I don't know. I guess I haven't really even been tuned into its existence until I started using the internet and social media super actively. So probably like 2018, 2019 would have been when I first heard about it. Uh, so maybe it used to be good, uh, but I've never seen it be good, and I've never heard anybody talk about it until you, apparently. Well, that's should, cool. Uh, it's all you right. Should host, you should host Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Famous internet celebrity, Alex Kolochu. Go by Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, my boy. Today, we're today. Alex Jones is hosting Saturday Night Live, but it's just you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, my name's Alex Jones. What did you think it was? <laughs> I go by the name Alex Jones. I mean, I got a video banned for hate speech. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't even know this time. I fucking. Because it was from a long time ago, the video, and I don't know. No, I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it. Uh, I won't. I, I won't publicly talk about that. Um, but an episode of the Death Stream from a long time ago um, got hate speech struck, and then I appealed the strike. And then, like, uh, mind you, mind you, when you appeal a strike, YouTube claims that a human will review the video and review the strike. Uh, this live stream was five hours long. My appeal was rejected ten minutes after I submitted it. So, I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't seem... The math doesn't seem to check out here. <laughs> so, I, I I tweeted at Team YouTube, and we'll see what happens. I'm just pissed that I don't have it. If they want it off YouTube, fine. But, like, I know it's still there. Because it's still in my YouTube studio. It still says content removed. It's fucking stupid. I wouldn't even... I feel like 99% of the people who bitch about being banned from YouTube wouldn't give... Or getting their videos deleted from YouTube wouldn't give a single fuck um, if they just let you... Because the video is still there. At any point, it could get unbanned and it just pops back up. Um, and so it should let you download it. Like, you can download your other videos that you've uploaded. You can click on them on YouTube Studio, and you can click download. But you can't do that 
for a delete for a video that's been banned. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Just let me download it and I'll fucking post it to Rumble and I'll be done with it and you won't have to worry about it. Uh but I'm pissed. I want my fucking video back. I'm sure there's nothing in it any worse than what I usually say. <laughs> and it hasn't happened to other shit yeah which maybe this is the sign maybe they're coming for me maybe the end is near who knows uh but uh yeah an episode of the death stream is sadly as of right now lost to time i combed my files i combed my google drive there was audio of it on google drive at some point um but it was not on my google drive it was on jason's and it is long deleted um i don't have it uh, cause I think it was my old computer that I had it to, maybe it's on my old computer. Uh, but, uh, as of right now, episode five of the death stream is lost media. <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate. Very sad. Did you see what I posted to detour ahead? Yes. You've, you've made the thumbnail. You've done it. <laughs> 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 it's great it's great it's a beautiful thumbnail i saved you one i saved you some work you did <laughs> it's great i love it i love hurricane water thanks to deming gloom for making hurricane hurricane water thank you for making that uh the transparent i had to hop over i couldn't use ms paint to make it i had to hop over to uh photoshop and do it this time but Hurricane water in space. Hurricane Even water in space. space. It's we space. took hurricane water and we <laughs> sent it to space. And then we. Fucking <laughs> 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 hurricane water. Oh, man. Dude, that. Look, that's great. I love it. It's gonna, we're going to create our own, our own brand. Do you think that uh, humans are going to live on Mars? No. For real? You don't think? You bet. Maybe eventually, but not in our lifetime. Not we in our lifetime. Yeah. We're okay. not gonna have, the first person on Mars will not be in our lifetime. No, I think somebody will step onto Mars in our no. lifetime. Okay. You really don't think that? Why? You really don't think in our lifetime, in the next, like, fucking 50, 70 years... They're gonna land. They're gonna. A guy is gonna go, come on Mars, and say one step for man, one leap for mankind, or whatever, and put an American flag in Mars. You don't think that's gonna happen within the next fucking seventy years? Because I think it has to. I I I don't think so. Why don't you think so? I don't know. I just it it doesn't seem like that's a very good use of our time. Well. To go to but, Mars? There's nothing there that we need a human to go check out. But it's like... It's just like a flex, you know? I mean, well, the only reason we went to the fucking moon... Was a flex, and we gotta, yes, we gotta flex that's it. again. That's all we went to the moon for. We have not been back. Like, well, there's also, like, a, well, we've been to the moon a couple times. No, humans have not been back to the moon. Humans yes, have not... Have. No. They've sent, like... Drones and shit up there, like the Mars rover. There have been other people on the moon. We've been on the moon more than once, right? Twice, I believe. I think people went to the moon in China, like a couple years ago. Not the moon in China. I think some people from China went to the moon. <laughs> the moon in China. Ah, here, the we here, we here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gene Cernan was the last man to walk on the moon. Captain, the U. A captain in the U.S. Navy, Cernan launched to the moon with the Apollo 17 mission on December 7th, 1972. And when did Neil Armstrong land on the moon? The 60s? Yeah. So yes, we have been to the moon multiple times. You're wrong. Yeah, Neil Armstrong was in 1969. The, the last person on, on the moon was in 72. Okay. It was over 50 years ago. I, I wasn't saying we've been there recently, but you were claiming that we've only been there once. We, we've been there a couple times. Um, okay. To be fair, th that's, three, that's three years difference. Alright? We're, we're, we don't plan 
I don't think we plan on sending anybody else back there, because there's nothing there for us. There's no reason for us to go to the moon anymore. The only reason we went there in the first place was to flex on the rest of the world and be like, ah, fuck you guys, America's yeah, the we're best gonna country do it in again. the world. We're gonna do it again, we're gonna Why? get on Mars, and they're gonna be like, fuck you, we got here first too. Get, get fucked. Or, or it's not gonna be us. And it's going to be Russia this time. And they're going to be like, fuck you, we got to this one first. Either way, I think it's going to happen. Somebody's going to want to get that flex. I don't see the validity Kim, of it. Kim Jong-un is going to launch all the people Jong-un's he doesn't like. Jong-un's not going to do anything. And Kim Jong-un can basically can barely fire missiles outside of his jurisdiction. All right? Calm down. <laughs> What if what if North Korea sent somebody to Mars for real? North Korea doesn't have the resources nor the people to do so. That's fair. That's fair. North Korea is more so just playing a big dick contest, but not... It's telling everybody else that their dick is small, but then the rest of the world looks at them and says, well, whip yours out. How big is yours? And they go, well, I, no, not that. that's gay. I'm not doing that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Your guys is as small. We got the biggest dicks in the world over here, and they're like, "Well, whip it out." And yeah, North Korea on. gets shy and sheepish and goes, "No, no, 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 no. We just we know we know we're the biggest. We know we're the best. Fuck everybody else." Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to prove it. We just yeah, know we don't need to prove. I don't need to prove shit to you. Look how big this missile is. We know it to be the case. That's that's all North Korea is doing. That, that's it. They're not. I mean, they could be a threat. But they haven't been a threat in a while. I mean, they're they, they're always they, a threat. They could be a threat, but if they plan to, they better fucking hurry it up. Because at this point, it's not. It's not. They're looking silly. I thought you were gonna be like, "Well, they better hurry it up." They got their pants down in front of the squad. At this point, we're all gonna be in Mars. <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna be over at Mars, and they're gonna be like, "Well, we we don't know how to send things to Mars. We can blow up the moon. Be like, fuck it, blow up the moon. We don't live there anymore." True. Just yeah, just fucking shoot a missile at the moon. Why not? I don't know. I don't see the validity of going to going to like it's just curiosity. That's all. That's all space is. It's just humans being curious. I mean, I feel like just set, I feel like it is a scientific achievement to have somebody touch down on a planet be able to, like, touch it and collect samples, like, live and then come back. Like, it's a scientific achievement for that to occur, just in itself. It's not just a dick measuring contest. Because, like, the idea is someday we would be able to mass market send people there when we have to get off this planet. So it's the... It's the circle of trying to perfect it to the point where we can do that. That's the idea. I don't know, man. I don't see the... Like I said, I keep saying, I don't see the validity of doing so. Because we have to be able to do that. It's important. Why? It's going to be important in the future. Why is it important to go... Not within our lifetimes, but within a couple lives, because the Earth is fucked. Every planet's going to be fucked. But there, but there is like a real time on it for Earth. Like we know we're screwed because well, we're a fucking billion years, homie. Yes, but we have to be ready. We can't just. But but there has to be. It's going to be a couple billion years before the Earth is completely dead. But we can't wait until then. It's going to be do a you, process. Do you think the gay billion dinosaurs were like, oh, oh there's an asteroid. We better. We better invest all our savings. <laughs> oh, maybe we should have prepared for this in advance. We should have prepared for an asteroid making everything go extinct. We were too, we were too busy making this guy gay. <laughs> that we weren't ready for the asteroid. I want to bring this guy on just to interview him. I just want to know his... I just want to talk to him. I really just, do. I just want to talk to him. I feel like we'd have to read one of his books, though, just to have a conversation. Though. Well, of course. <laughs> his books are cheap. They're only like $3 for the Kindle version on uh, Amazon. How much for the paperback? I want these on my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> you want the whole collection? Yes. <laughs> I also just hate reading on, like, 
Because, like, if I wanted to read on an iPad, I could read whatever book I wanted for free because I don't give a shit about piracy. Uh, but uh, I don't like reading on my iPad. I'd rather read a real book. Um, so I'll just buy books. Like, even if I... I bought... I did not buy it from a source where he will make money for it. I bought it from an online thrift store, but I did buy Alphabet of Manliness. <laughs> oh, they're all Kindle edition. There, there's no paperback. Ah, fuck. <laughs> you bastard. This guy's too cheap to pay the printing fees for his gay billionaire dinosaur book. <laughs> there's another one called fuck. Cheating Gay Lizard Monster. <laughs> The fi- the Sphinx turned me gay. Gay cowboy billionaire beast. <laughs> a gay mini woolly mammoth. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if Dick will still send me a T-shirt for burning my copy of Alphabet of Manliness, even though that I've admitted that I bought it recently. <laughs> that was really funny. I just want to talk to this guy and be like, "What's your inspiration behind this? Like, this is really intriguing." Yeah. What. Well- what what went through your head? What the what were you thinking? When Nailed you... by dragons, ravaged by a unicorn. <laughs> ravaged by <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a little. It's a little vulgar, I think. <laughs> a griffin tore me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to get torn up by a. No, griffin. I just I want to read. Billionaire dinosaurs. I uh, legitimately am very intrigued. <laughs> this is the the detour ahead of book club where we're gonna go read this gay billionaire dinosaurs and talk about it. Oh, uh, we're gonna bring the we're gonna read both of them, and we're gonna bring the yeah part on. one and part two the two part epic of. <laughs> <laughs> it's not part one, part two. There's multiple. There's gay billionaire dinosaurs in my butt. Billionaire dinosaur forced me gay. Uh, where's where are the other ones? <laughs> and then there's a billionaire dinosaur forced me gay part two. So there's three of them. Wow. Now, I think this dude. I think the chronological order. Oh, Riley, here's one you have to read. Here's the one you're gonna have to read. Dark okay. Pegasus made me gay. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dark Pegasus. That's my arch nemesis. <laughs> Dark Pegasus made me gay. Fuck. Now I think I this is before I believe this came before the billionaire dinosaur. But there's also T Rex made me gay. Not a billionaire yet, but <laughs> after he makes gay, he becomes a billionaire. My gay saber tooth lover. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I don't I don't know why this is so intriguing. I have this page bookmarked for later. <laughs> uh, Alex, we've we've learned a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> we have learned we've learned so much. We God damn. Gay di- gay billionaire dinosaurs. Hurricane water. And we talked about space. Wow. Yeah, and, so much. and we have a thumbnail ready to go. We do have a thumbnail just ready to fire. Which is at, very at professionally done by a one Colo Chu. I didn't even realize it was you until like right before you said it. Like it, it got posted and immediately I was like, oh, Demi made a thumbnail. Because <laughs> I was not. <laughs> it was actually good. So I didn't know it was Alex that made it. Oh, saying. I have access to I have access to Adobe Photoshop. I just don't use it. <laughs> I have access to Photoshop, but I choose to use MS Paint to remove backgrounds from PNGs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, it's easier. <laughs> this this actually wasn't that hard. It's just bring a bunch of uh, bring a bunch of the hurricane water over. Well, yeah, I know it's not that hard. I'm sure. Hurricane water. Hurricane water. <laughs> How long have we been going for? Extreme. Uh, just over an hour. We can abandon ship if that's what you're looking to do. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. <laughs> A lot of things have been posted in uh, the podcast chat, so I was like, oh, well, how long have we been going for? Because this is... <laughs> Fucking goddamn hurricane water. <laughs> Oh, man. 
What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite non-Earth planet? If you had to pick your favorite planet, what would you say it was? Man, I don't know. I like Pluto because I always root for the underdogs. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> they, did, they did my boy Pluto dirty. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that was bullshit. That's not fair. It's not fair to Pluto. I feel like once you're a planet, you're a planet, you know? The, the, Pluto was certified, he made it in, and we just took it away from him. What the fuck? What do you, you what do you, got something against dwarves? Are you dwarvist? It's because he's a dwarf planet, all of a sudden he's not a planet? Fucking bigots. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't think Pluto's a planet is racist, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and I feel like Saturn's pretty cool. I like how it has a, it has a ring. That's Shut probably my answer. Fuck, up. fuck you. Fuck <laughs> what do you. you mean? What do you mean? What did I do wrong? Don't be making jokes. Don't be making jokes. What jokes? Saturn has rings. Yeah. Nah, Jupiter's pretty cool. Ju- it's either Jupiter or Venus. If you want well, Jupiter, an Jupiter is where we go to get more stupider. And honestly, that's the, I love doing that. So I feel like this podcast would thrive on Jupiter, <laughs> so we could get more stupider, and that'd be better. Er, first, be podcast, better. first podcast. First <laughs> podcast. Wait, the first podcast on Jupiter. First podcast Live is- from Jupiter, it's Detour. Eh? Oh man, they already had a podcaster in space, Steve Robinson. From Shit, really? Na- NASA. Third po- first podcaster from space. One day before landing, transmitted the first podcast from space. Holy shit. That's awesome. That's fucking cool, dude. I'd love to do a podcast in space. I want to do a podcast in, like, a really absurd situation. Because, like, podcasts are such a part of my personality that I want to have one of the... I, I want to have a story where like that where I'm like, I did a podcast in space. Or, like, I did a podcast at the peak of a mountain. Like, well, I just want to do a podcast we're somewhere right, cool. We're right outside her, the hurricane going on down in Florida. We're I'm right in the... the I'm your host, Alex, and with me today is Riley. <laughs> We're drinking hurricane water, We're getting hurricane water rains coming down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> what if you recorded a podcast while doing skateboard tricks? Nah, like that's lame. That's Just lame. Like you got to go in extreme conditions to report to record a podcast. That would be. I feel like that would be aesthetic as fuck, though. Like with the skateboard sounds, I listen to somebody. I mean, we could just play a random skate. Like we could just ask the editor. We, of the we show, could we could emulate hey, this. Can you just add random skateboard sounds into yes, the we podcast? Could, we, could, we could certainly emulate the feel, but like uh, uh, authentic the, uh, the, the, the the authenticity is very important. You know, we could. Uh, I still think like, extreme. Just get like a little Bluetooth thing should be a thing. Get like a little Bluetooth headset, put it on your head, uh, you know, get your helmet on, get your skateboard ready, and just fucking shred down some half pipes, dog, and be like, yo, what's up? Welcome to the I'm Shredding Down Half Pipes po- Right Now podcast. <laughs> I still like the idea of extreme. <laughs> we go out to Kansas, we find a tornado, we have it in the background where we're doing a quick podcast. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to Detour Ahead. We're here with our guest, uh, a tornado. Hi, how, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're gonna be, uh, right, Riley. How much? How much time we got? Uh, looks like the tornado's gonna touch down in about twenty minutes. We got like ten minutes to get out of here. Uh, thanks everybody so much for listening to extreme podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should podcast uh, while uh, suspended by a bungee cord off an active volcano. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. Podcast, podcast where we're robbing water. a bank. We're like, what's up, everybody? Hey, shut the fuck up. We're robbing a bank here down in downtown LA. Welcome to Detour Ahead, the most extreme podcast out there. <laughs>
<laughs> Leah, please let us go. Shut up! You're interrupting the podcast. You go up to one of the hostages. Like, what's your name? And they're like, oh, Maria. And we're like, How you Special doing? Guest, How Maria. Are you for what are you here? For? You're you're on the detour ahead extreme episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have two kids at home. Uh, oh, wow, really? <laughs> well, I hope please. Well, as long as you answer these next couple questions, you'll be able to go home and see your family after this. <laughs> but- <laughs> Wheel of seeing your family. But- I want to do another game show. I've, <laughs> I've been working up the motivation to do another game show lately. That'd be fun. It's been a minute since we did the game show. Um, game show was episode, I believe, 27. So, I want to do another game show. That would be fun. I just don't know what kind of questions it would be about. So that's the other thing. <laughs> Should we do the, the dick game show? <laughs> Alex is just like, eyes grew wide, her smile <laughs> grew three sizes at that moment. <laughs> Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do for the, the game show. Unless you want to go put your own game show on. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, that requires a I, lot uh, the, of writing, homie. That took see, me, the thing like, is, weeks to complete. The thing is, hosting a game show? Great. Putting together a game show? Not so great. That's why when we did the Issue Crew game show, it was just uh, Jeopardy Labs. <laughs> that I found online. I mean, I found all the questions, but I did type them all out and made it interactive for you guys through my screen, basically. So Yeah, no, we just used Jeopardy Labs, and I think we used it wrong. <laughs> it, was not, it was not a very well-executed game show, the one we did on Issue Crew. Oh, oh, I could bring back a cool classic and do... Um, I could have Penguin host the show bring Penguin on to host the show, and I put it all together of all the questions from uh, Pokemon Variety Hour. Wait, what do you mean by that? All her... Uh, the Quiz Girl ep- segment. Oh, yeah. Unless you want to throw that on the PVH feed. <laughs> I mean, we could do that. <laughs> e- either or. It gets Penguin back on. I feel like yeah. every ten episodes we need to bring Penguin on just to keep just to keep her at the uh, the head of the head of the helm. Penguin may her- come on if she wanted to come on literally every week. She could like this doesn't matter. She could come on whenever she wants. Well, Penguin's reigning with six six guest spots right now. Gingy's following close behind with uh, five, and then Demi with three. That's a. Uh... We have Demi on more. We have... we <laughs> She's got to join the race. She was busy today. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, we technically did. She talked a couple times. I'm not. I'm not going to count it. But I'm, she... not count- I'm not counting this as a. <laughs> she, she did. She did talk a couple times. She did get hurricane water out there, though. <laughs> yeah, that was our last topic episode. It was 13 episodes ago when we had Demi <laughs> before this one. What? No, the last been... time we no, the last time we had a topic before this one was fire with Demi Gloom. It, it was formless cast all the way down since then. That's why I put a stop to it. <laughs> no, thirty eight was biggest demon slayer in the universe. Uh, I guess yeah. I guess technically that was a topic. But folks, I'm trying to think of more space questions. I feel like we didn't talk about space enough. I feel like it was too extreme. This podcast got too extreme <laughs> for space. Yeah, we're, we're too good for space. We're too extreme for space. <laughs> extreme. <laughs> so you really, if you were given the opportunity, if, if, fucking, if, if John NASA knocked on your door and said, Alex, go to space, you wouldn't go to space? No. That's insane. The wa- the wonder of it has no effect on you at all. I mean, space is I. It's overrated, but I I'm in shock. 
I genuinely can't get over your complete lack of okay. interest in space. I I might be a little bit more enthusiastic about space had I not just watched like ten movies for the past two weeks about space. Oh, you're saying like, yeah, I'm fucking tired I'm of this space, space shit. I'm a, little, I'm a little spaced out, as you could say. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. <laughs> And this is the end of the podcast. <laughs> it's over. Thanks, everybody, Alex, so much for listening. Alex, where can they find you if they want to be subjected to awfulness like that? In you can find places. me on YouTube as Colochu54, patreon.com slash Colochu. Hey, is that up? Do you have a Patreon up? I do. I have a Patreon. Okay, I have- well, I, I know you had a Patreon a long time ago, but I also did, and it got... It got taken down because they like updated their terms of service and there there's something I have to fix and I just never fixed it because it was not used. So I didn't know if maybe a similar situation had befell you. I think that happened to Mo Diggity as well. So I, that's I, I just want to make sure you still had that Patreon. But yeah, patreon.com slash colochu, everybody. Um it's patreon.com slash you know, actually, question mark you two three zero zero six five five one. I don't have the custom URL. You, if you don't have a custom URL, you don't have a Patreon. If it's um, a user link, it's a fucking... That's your user link. Or do you have a Patreon page? I have a Patreon page. It says my page. I'm on my page. And it says, like, Colo2 is making hold on, hold podcasts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And it has, like... Viewing as public. Donate. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's Patreon slash Colo254. Everybody, uh, yeah, everybody subscribe if you to can't Colo2's find it, Patreon. If you can't everybody, find it, go to the YouTube channel. And I found the URL, everybody. If you want to subscribe to Colochu on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash Asterios. I have a link on my... Um, <laughs> That's your URL. There's a link to my Patreon. That's, on... That's your new URL you just set up, is patreon.com slash Asterios. There's a link to my Patreon on my YouTube channel. Nice. Uh, in the About section. Um, if you want to join the Discord, there's a, usually a link down, in, down below. There is. Uh, join the Discord. Discord.gg slash x two three six six nine d join the discord come on the podcast yeah come on the pod if you join the discord and you want to come on the podcast not that hard to do we'll, we'll probably get you on there join the discord and just at me or riley and be like i want to come on the podcast and we'll be like bet Cool. You can, yeah, you can talk to me in the channels or dm me i'm all ears get fucked get fucked <laughs> Riley, wh- where where can people find you? Link dot link dot tree dot tr <laughs> no, link tree dot tr. A, <laughs> it's a link. To, oh god, now Max I don't know what it is. Riley podcast <laughs> <laughs> huge mongus feed. It's a link tr dot ee slash Riley Cinematic Universe, which can also be found on my X page at Riley tweets. In Riley the podcast post. megaverse. <laughs> the Riley. The, <laughs> The Riley Podcast Mega Feed is mostly a dead brand. There's not a lot on there. The only the only property on there that I would consider like fully active will return uh, would probably be like the Riley and Friends show. Um, Power vs. Juice Bar, ideally, too. But that's been a big scheduling issue. Um, but yeah, the Riley Podcast Mega Feed, mostly a dead place. I don't, I don't have the energy to migrate power verse juice bar or riley and friends show so if those come out they'll go on the mega feed but other than that it's basically a dead brand uh but gamers i thank you all for listening to the 49th episode of detour ahead to ever be recorded (laughs) i've been riley i've been alex and we'll see you next time for the episode we haven't recorded yet (laughs) bye